As part of ongoing factory flight refinement tests, the experimental MC-21 three-tailing aircraft with tail number 73055 flew along established air routes on the moscow siktivkar Moscow route. This was a big step forward in testing this new type of Russian airplane. The major purpose of the flight was to thoroughly test the systems made in Russia, such as the inertial navigation systems, the traffic collision avoidance system, TCAS, the weather radar, the avionics on board, and the communication equipment. Another important thing to do was to test the instrument landing system, ILS, and talk to air traffic control, ATC, while flying in controlled airspace according to regular operating procedures. The trip was flown by a very experienced crew, including Oleg Mutovin, the first-class test pilot of PJSC Yakovlev and Hero of Russia, and Roman Toskiv, the director of trip testing for the firm and an honored test pilot of the Russian Federation. This information was reported by a representative of the Gromov Flight Research Institute. The plane took a standard instrument departure, SID, which is a pre-approved and publicized route out of the airport that includes climb routes and altitude limits. CD procedures are meant to make sure that planes can safely fly over obstructions, lower noise levels in the community, and make air traffic flow better. The crew used onboard navigation systems to follow the allocated airways precisely and were in constant contact with air traffic controllers to make sure the flight was safe and that there was enough space between planes. The flight included a landing phase and entry into a holding pattern above Siktivkar. Then there were two instrument landing approaches, ILS, with missed approaches to test how accurate the system was at guiding the plane to its destination and landing. The return flight to Romanskoy also followed regulated airways and followed the IFR, instrument flight rules, regime set up by air traffic control. The crew received SIGMET warnings about severe thunderstorms when they were flying back into Moscow airspace. The pilots were able to find and escape storm cells using the Russian-made onboard weather radar. This showed how well the radar worked and how well it was integrated into the system. The goal of these test flights is to make sure that the aircraft is safe and reliable in real-world settings and that the systems work as they should in genuine air traffic situations that follow ICKO international standards. These kinds of trips test how well collision avoidance systems, navigation and communication equipment, and automatic flying systems work together. They also check how effectively the plane works with civilian air traffic control systems in normal situations. These tests make sure that the performance of the aircraft is measured objectively and that the results can be repeated. These are important factors for type certification and the aircraft's ultimate entry into commercial operation. The MC-21-310 is a new kind of Russian medium-range commercial plane that is meant to compete with the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 families. It can hold up to 211 people and is powered by PD-14 engines built in Russia. One of the best things about it is that it uses a lot of composite materials, around 40%, which makes it more fuel efficient and lighter. As part of Russia's efforts to replace imports, the MC-21 is slowly getting more and more Russian-made systems and parts, including as avionics, environmental control systems, electrical systems, landing gear, and more. There will be fewer and fewer parts made in other countries, and in serial production versions, they will all be replaced with parts made in Russia. The current phase of the program and what comes next. It is expected that full-scale serial production of the MC-21-310 will start in 2026. Until then, a lot of flight and certification tests are being done at several Russian airfields in different kinds of weather. Flight tests for a variant of the plane that may be made entirely from parts made in Russia started in June 2025. More research and development and design work is being done to help with the extension of type certificates. In short, the experimental MC-21-310 flight 
from Moscow to Siktivkar and back, was an important testing phase. It let engineers and pilots check how well and reliably Russian-made aircraft systems work in real life. This helps with the larger certification process and helps Russia's aviation sector reach its goals of complete operational capability and technological independence for the MC-21 program. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take out channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.